people will constantly tell you to, to not talk in a way which is full of conviction. They, people do not like you to have, be arrogant and have an ego. This is the worst thing ever. Let me tell you a fact, the number one facet of a G mindset. Your life is never gonna be worse if you walk through the world believing you are the fucking man. You wake up and look in the mirror and go, I'm the, I'm, a, I'm the fucking man. I am the man. There's no one on this planet who can do shit I couldn't do if I put my mind to it. I don't give a fuck how good you are at piano. If I decide to play piano, I would be better than you at piano. And I believe that. I don't just say these things, I fucking believe them. And when you go through life believing you really, really are the man, there are very few downsides. The downsides are everyone's gonna call you an arrogant, everyone's gonna call you arrogant, everyone's gonna call you a dickhead, everyone's gonna say he has a big ego. You're gonna lose a few loser friends, who cares? What you are gonna gain is other people on the same path. You're gonna gain other people who think, yeah, well I'm the fucking man too, this guy's the man, let's make some money. That's what's gonna happen. So the first thing you can do with the G mindset is you need to start believing you are the fucking man. Even if you're not the man yet, even before I was world champion, I knew I was gonna be the man. So I don't give a fuck. And I was happy to say that to anybody. When people called me arrogant and stupid and deluded, I just sit there and look at them and say, yeah, fuck you, I'm gonna be the man. First thing you have to believe you're the fucking man, you can achieve anything. And when I say that, I don't want, I'm gonna say that again. You have to believe you're the fucking man and you have to believe you can achieve anything. I'm not saying you can achieve anything easily. I'm not saying it's not gonna take a whole bunch of work. I'm not saying it's gonna happen quickly. But you have to believe you can achieve anything. I'll tell you something now, I don't give a fuck if it's being an astronaut. I don't care about climbing Mount Everest. You give me enough time to train, I will get it done. I know that for a fact because I know who I am as a man. That's the first thing. The second thing is, you need to be perspicacious. You need to understand that in this world there's a whole bunch of people doing amazing shit that you are not doing. And that needs to piss you off. Because if it pisses you off, you become motivated all of a sudden. I was the only one who was pissed off when that Aston Martin was next to me and I had my sales job. I was the only one who was pissed off when I saw that Ferrari drive past. Other people were not annoyed by it. And they're not annoyed by it. They're not driven to be it. You understand? They're not driven to be where that person was. You need to be annoyed and... I'm telling you. I'm telling you to be angry. Anger is a fantastic force. Like I said, the world tells you not to be arrogant, tells you not to be angry. It's two things it tells you to do. Don't be arrogant, don't have an ego, and you know, you don't have anger. You're a fucking man, you're a full grown man. It's perfectly fine for you to be pissed off. It's perfectly fine for you to look around at your life, look at the girl you're fucking, look at the house you live in, look at the car you drive, and get pissed off and go, you know what, I want a hotter bitch, I want a fucking nicer house, I want a faster car. There's nothing wrong if you take that anger and you direct it in the correct direction. This is the reason I stopped fighting now. People go, why do you stop fighting us? Because I fought and I went through hell to get everything I now have. I had nothing when I fought. I had nothing. And I wanted the life I now have. Now I wake up in one of my three mansions with one of my seven supercars and one of my 15 women. What do I need to fight for? Like, people have different motivations for different things. There's some fighters out there who fight for other reasons, you know? But my motivation was I was pissed off at the world. And now I'm not as angry as I used to be, so I don't believe I'm as good a fighter as I used to be. I'll still whoop some ass, but I'm not as good as I used to be. So that's why I've decided to retire early. But this is the second thing. So the first thing, leave it a man. Second thing, you need to get angry about your situation. And you don't own the home you're in, get pissed off. If there ain't a Ferrari on your drive, get pissed off. If you don't have 10 Playboy Bunny level beauties, get pissed off. And well, what the fuck? You, you need to sit there and realize, whoa, 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 whoa. I have a few years of consciousness. And even less than that, I have a few short years as a young man, because age will damage you. I mean, if you're a millionaire when you're 60, it's not nearly as good as being a millionaire at my age. I became a millionaire at 28. So you need to realize you've got a few short years as a young man, you're fucking wasting them. You need to sit there and go, fuck, shit, get angry. Because getting angry, forced, directed anger is an extremely powerful force. So these are the first two things you need to do for the GMAT. This is the third thing, this is a very, very important thing, because I try and explain this to people and they don't seem to understand this, and we make this very, very plain. Nobody, absolutely nobody, gives a fuck about you as much as you're going to have to give a fuck about yourself. Nobody cares about you as much as they need to care to fix your life. Even your parents, even your friends, even all the people who think they care about you, they care about you, yeah, sure, there may be two or three people on the planet who genuinely care about you, but nobody is going to come to your bed drag you out of bed, fucking drag you to a job, force you to work hard, go and get you a hot bitch and go and buy you a Ferrari. Nobody is going to do that for you. You are never gonna have any of the things you want if you do not get them yourself. Nobody cares about you enough to do it for you. This is absolutely true. The only person who gives a shit about your life truly is you. And if you don't give a shit, then you're fucked. But 
Point two, get angry, you're gonna start giving a shit very soon. And after you get angry, you need to realize that nobody is gonna give you the things you want. It doesn't matter if Donald Trump is president or not. He's a huge Trump fan, but it doesn't make a difference. No politician is gonna make you rich. No one else is gonna come along and say, I'm gonna concentrate my effort on fixing your life. Nobody. You have to understand you are out here alone, absolutely alone. And when you understand these three things, you start to see how a mindset comes together. Nobody's gonna save you. You're fucked. It's totally down to you. You're pissed off with your current situation and you wanna change it. Plus you believe you can do absolutely anything. This is how I thought at 18 years old. Because at a very young age when I had my prime resource of energy and power at 18, 19 years old, I understood those three tenets. I believe I can do anything. I'm pissed off I don't have the life I want. And nobody else is gonna give it to me. These are three things you need to understand. If any one of these elements is missing, you'll never have the right mindset. The G mindset will never formulate if any one of these elements is missing. All three are absolutely essential. And the sooner you get your act together, the sooner you start to panic and worry and be concerned that you're 24 or 25, you're not fucking rich yet. There's 24 and 25 year olds out there who got a contract for a fucking NBA with their parents or they won the lottery, who knows what. There's 24 and 25 year olds out there who are multimillionaires fucking the hot models. These Instagram girls with three million followers, they're getting dicked by someone and it ain't you. And that needs to piss you off. You need to get concerned, you need to get worried, you need to, shit, I'm running out of time. You need to get some urgency in your life. Put these three things together, it's absolutely essential. This is the beginning of the G mindset. When you have these things, three things totally done, I'll tell you what happens. I'll tell you what happened for me. So I became a sayer. So my brother used to say, you've become a sayer. And what that means is I made a pact to him that my word was unbreakable, strength and honor. And that if I said something, I meant it. So I'd wake up in the morning, I'd say to my brother, I'm doing a thousand press ups today. Once I said it, once I spoke it, it's like, like a genie, it became true. If I said I was gonna do a thousand press ups, I'd do them. Because if I didn't do them, I'd feel guilty within myself that I was the kind of person who talks shit. The G's don't talk shit. So the three tenets we've already learned, and you've instilled these in your mind, you don't want to be the kind of person who talks shit. So if I woke up to my brother and said, I'm doing a thousand press ups, or I'm running 20 miles, I would do it. Because if I didn't do it, I'd feel like a dickhead. Because when you instill these mindsets, when, you, when your mindset changes, you start to be extremely accountable for yourself. No one's coming to save you. You're extremely accountable. So when you realize that your word is one of the few things you have on this planet, if you say things, you're going to start sticking to them. So then it becomes very easy to train. You say, I'm going to train every day this week. I'm going to train for two hours a day. As soon as you set it, it's basically done. If I say something, it's basically done. It's, it's set in stone. If I say something, I'm going to do it. There's no way I'm going to say, I'm going to make, say some words and speak them into existence in this, on this planet. And then I'm going to be the kind of pussy who quits because it's too hard. If I say I'm going to do 10,000 push-ups, I'm going to do it. Because I'm the kind of person who sticks to the words he says. And this is another thing you need to understand with the G mindset. You have to be very, very specific with what you say. Because if you can steal your mindset correctly and you start to just say things, just start saying things. Then you hold yourself accountable. Say things you don't even think you want to do. Wake up and go up to your friend or your mom or whoever and say, you know what? I'm going to do a thousand push-ups today. Say it to people. And they're going to say, no, you're not. So watch me. And then you have a choice. You're either going to succeed like a G or you're going to be a little pussy. You're going to quit 310 because it's hard. What kind of man are you? That's a decision you need to make. If you're the kind of man I was, I'd say shit and I'd fucking stick to it. My brother said, you become a sayer. I used to train with my brother. He'd say, let's do 500. So let's do 2,000. They'd say, well, you've said it now, so we have to do it. I was like, exactly. I said it now, so now we have to do it. There is no surrender. I, we have to do it. This is another facet of the G mindset. This is number four. You've got to start saying shit, and your word has to be iron, unbreakable. This translates across everything in life. It's not just training. It translates across everything in life, even relationships. I say to my girlfriend, stop fucking with me or you're out the house. Men say that all the time in arguments, and then they continue to argue for two hours. They'll say that, and then they'll argue. If I say that, and she continues to talk shit, I start throwing her shit out the fucking door, because I said it. And if I say something, I mean it. If I look a man in his eyes and say, I'm gonna whoop your ass, shut up, and he continues to talk, I have to kick his ass. I'm careful with what I say. If I tell him to shut up, and he doesn't shut up, that's a different thing. If I say shut up, or I'm gonna whoop your ass, and he continues to talk, I will fuck him up. Because I'm the kind of person, if I say something, I mean what I say. I'm specific with my language, and I mean every word I speak. 
This is another ten. This is number four. You have to start meaning every word you speak. You say to someone, I'm gonna get rich. You better fucking do it. Otherwise you're a liar. You're a liar and you're a little bitch. If you say I'm gonna put some muscle on, you better fucking do it. You say I'm gonna lift this weight, you better fucking do it. You say I'm gonna go get this girl, you better go get her. You gotta be the kind of person who says things and means them. You promise a guy you're gonna whoop his ass, you better whoop his ass. Don't be a person. 99% of the people out here talk shit. They say things they half mean or things they don't mean. If I say something, I fucking mean it. And this is number four, this is the fourth element. You've heard the first three, this is number four. Everything you say, you must mean. And once you implement that correctly, then you get the ability to motivate yourself to no end.